An important part of raising a request in the service desk is the ability to capture information that's going to help drive that request through to completion. Now I'm just going to start by raising a change request and here we see uh, part of our progressive capture forms. In this case this is just summary and description. and This is a standard form supplied by service manager. But quite often uh, you may have unique information that you wish to collect um, uh, as part of your capture script. So here I'm just showing a, uh, a customized form with a few different options. So here we see a drop down list, uh, some uh, checkbox and multi-line uh, fields. Now this kind of custom form can be designed within the, uh, the Hornbill administration in the Progressive Capture Designer. So we uh, have the request details, which was the first form that was displayed, and then we have the change questions, which was our custom form. And here's the three options, and we just have a look at the properties of the drop-down list. We can see how we can view the, uh, the drop-down type and then all of the contents of the drop-down. But what I'm going to do is just add in my own question. So I just uh, break the, uh, the initial line and drag and drop over. And here is where we can add our customized form. OK, and then by selecting this, we see the difference. We have a purple form for a customized and the blue for the, uh, the default uh, service manager forms. And if we just go to the properties here, uh, we'll start by giving this a title which is visible within our designer. Now I'm going to create a, uh, a question simply to supply the needed by date. And the first thing we'll do here is we'll go down and give this form an ID. And this is simply so that we can use this within the business process later on. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, add a prompt. So this is going to be the question that will be asked of the user collecting the information. So here I'll just type in, when do you need this by? And then we can add in our field. We select uh, on the, the edit button and here we can start to provide our information. So again, we're just going to give this an ID of needed by. And then we can provide the actual label that we'll see on the, uh, on the form. And we'll just type in date. There's a few additional options here, such as being able to make this field mandatory and how we display uh, the information in the summary once it's been uh, collected. And then a few other options about uh, making it read only, so it's a display information only. Now from the option here, we have a number of different controls, but I'm going to select the date control. We see there's also a time control as well, but we'll use the date. And by default, it sets this date to the current uh, date and or time. And we'll apply that setting, and we will save and activate our uh, progressive capture. And then from here, we'll switch back to the, the main client. We're going to walk through and raise another change. So we start uh, with the service manager's uh, summary, uh, summary question. And then here's our newly added date question. So we are presented here with a date selector. And by clicking on Next, we can now see that we've captured it, uh, this our date. And we'll go through and click on the Next custom form using the drop down, the multi uh, checkbox, and the multi-line text field. And we'll just finish off by selecting a category. And uh, we'll not include an asset on this, this request. And when we come in to view the actual change, uh, we have an area within the request where we've gathered and collected the information under the question. So we see our date the selected change type, the impact, and the risk.